Greetings. Today we're going to be viewing, uh, it was a 3 vs 4, uh, with a few new people here, uh, Drummer and Grenwat. This will be, I don't know if it's their first game, but it's the first game I've played with them. Um, I think Grenwat may have played um, a game or two before, and I'm pretty sure it's Drummer's first, of Twilight. And it was a 4 vs 3 to start, Thaldrin had to go and dropped out pretty early but let's uh let's start all right so walk somewhere not too far so on the west side here we have magpie myself drummer and then thaldron down here and on the east side, we have Lethal, Twilight, and Gren. I was trying to figure out what was confirmed. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Let's see where we're at. Magpie is going solars here. Got an energy storage and some winds. An energy, an early energy storage really helps out because um, you do waste quite a bit of energy depending on your build order, and that it it can help out a bunch in probably in general, but in Twilight at least. And then we have Thaldrin down here. He's got about three winds, getting his metal up. And then over on the east side, let's speed this up first of all. Let's wait over. <laughs> let's wait till we finish this test. To confirm. Oh, he was testing the um, marker system. Over here we have Gren. He's got a few winds, some metal, and he's getting a vehicle plant up. We have Twilight splurging for three energy storage, a um, few winds, a couple winds, and a solar. And then we've got Lethal going storage and solar and this is on Bastion it's been redone to uh, I've removed a lot of the metal a lot of it was just max metal on all these patches I've removed some patches from the starting area and just overall there's less patches and they are not worth as much, but it does get progressively better as you go towards the middle. Like you have the starting patches, which are going to be worth the least amount. These are going to be a little bit better in the center here. And then once you start getting to the bridge here, it's pretty high amounts of metal with the islands being pretty good to control as well. Looks like we have Drummer uh, coming to grab metal patch here and sending some early fleas out. We've got Twilight pretty much focusing on Eco right now. Hasn't built a plant yet. Looks like Gren stopped building his plant and um, went a little more on the Eco side. And Lethal just finished his K-Bot lab, it seems. Drummer's pumping out some Fleas and Jethro's right now. Down here we have, what was that? Down here we have the oh, the the Thaldrin. He's got a K-Bot lab out, and he's working on his eco, trying to get his energy up. <laughs> the uh, the energy in Twilight does it does take quite a bit more than what a lot of people are probably used to. <laughs> the the maxes cost, I believe it's fifteen. Yeah, they cost 15 opposed to that 3 energy. Um, so you do have to think about your energy much more. Income-wise, we're we're all doing pretty poor. Grenwa, Gren is uh, he's doing pretty good on his energy. Hasn't got a plant up yet, but it's a big map and there's not much going on. We've got some units, some fleas coming in to kind of patrol around here. Looks like Magpie is sending some some builders out. And Lethal does have some peewees up. 
Twilight just got his vehicle plan up not too long ago, and he's going to grab the Geo Spot, which are um, they are worth 500 here, so that's really smart, especially on a map where basically how it works with the plates is they're not great, but you pretty much the metal is split up between the four. So you have these points to control, and they do get progressively better. But it will cost you a little more energy to to control that because you might get, you know, four metal out of the four extractors opposed to, like, two big patches or something like that. You're effectively spending twice as much energy, which is not, is not a, a small amount. It's, what, 60 energy to control one patch. So we've got... Um, Drummer pumping out some Jethro's here. Looks like Gren got his vehicle plan up and he's getting some scouts out. And Lethal seems to be moving into push here. So I sneaked right by the Peewees. <laughs> or they sneaked right by me, however you want to say it. Drummer does have some mines up here, but he is struggling to cloak them, so Lethal is able to to get by them safely, pretty much. And he's got a nice group of Peewees coming in. Um, I've got like two flashes to help. And there's some crashers, which won't stand up against the Peewees too well. Lethal pulled back. I he definitely would have lost eventually because he's walking into a line of units but he could have gotten rid of quite a few of of those Jethro's there I'm Twilight detonating mines <laughs> I'm somebody who pretty much sacrifices my units it's not the smartest thing but I pretty much send them to die I'm just really poor with micromanagement Bringing in these peewees up on Magpie here. Looks like he's trying to protect Twilight while he sets up uh, some reinforcements. Did get some flashes up though. And Thaldron's gone. Uh, he left. This is double speed, so about five minutes into the game probably, give or take. And he passed all his stuff over to uh, me, and I had given it to other people. Lots of Jethro's and Weasel's coming in. Gren's got a few larger tanks to back them up here. It's pretty much a battle of the crashers and Jethro's right now. Now, air does do only a third of damage to ground, so they're not the end-all, be-all. If they can stay out of range, they'll, they'll do a good job. But, you know, you have stuff like weasels coming in who can really get up close and just tear them apart. Any vehicle, really. Luckily, I <laughs> my Janices were grouped up there, so they kind of chunked them. That was my Discord, not yours. So big group or a big battle of the Jethro's going on. Um, while that happens, let's take a look. We Daldrin pretty much did a lot of eco. I had spread the love around and tried to help everyone out with their energy. Um, Magpies grabbed this up here. Lots of solars going on, and I'm pretty sure he's in the water. It's getting some shipyard action going. Um, lots of Jethro's, some AKs, trying to get some fortifications up in the center to help relieve pressure. Uh, lots of Jethro's coming in from lethal here. And some, a mixed army of tanks from Grin here. We 
do have some berserkers coming in uh, from Magpie. Kind of punch a hole through all this. Over here, we've got a K-Bot lamp going up from Twilight. Gren's um, pushing out, grabbing this metal. And he's got his vehicle plant back here, popping stuff out. Twilight's getting up some air defense. Uh, always a smart thing to do when you're <laughs> about 10 minutes in. You never want to be caught off guard with air. It can end the game for you. So we're making a big push here. Um, got some AKs, some Jethros, and some Berserkers. Trying to punch a hole through these Jethros. Gren coming in with some Sands and some uh, Shodan. The Shodans are really nice for escape They outrange um, a lot of them, and they really put out the damage. They do take energy to fire, though, which he is... he was lacking there. So down here, Lethal's getting an air plan up, getting some more eco going, some energy to produce the aircraft. It's got a nice amount of advanced solars back here, too. Uh, Twilight's grabbing all these geo spots. And we are making progress over here. Uh, at this point, he should probably pump something other than the Jethro's out. He, some AKs would do him better. Some AKs with maybe a couple Berserkers here and there. They would absolutely win against the Jethros. The AKs do move the fastest of all. Or not the AKs, the Peewees. The, the, the Peewees will move faster than pretty much everything but Fleas. AKs move faster than all their K-Bots as well. So we have Magpie coming up here with some chips. Um... Raiding the coast here. You got that forward lab that Gren had built. And that looks like he got the metal as well. Coming up on the coastline here. He's able to get a lot of his eco. Okay, but maybe not a lot. So he's pretty much kind of just look, watching that coastline there. Meanwhile, we're really trying to push through this, this line of stuff that Leaf was throwing out. He's still throwing out the Jethro's. Uh, if you're watching this, Lethal, I would... If you're getting pushed this hard, I would be looking for a little more firepower. Putting the same amount of metal into AKs would have helped a bunch. Especially since there's a lot of Jethro's coming your way. Crashers, Jethro's, same difference. Looks like we did get some flashes through, and then Twilight's building up a nice army here of Storms and AKs. I, th I think that's a recorder glitch? I don't know. No, no, he's sucking those up. <laughs> yep, he just ate those flashes. Looks like um, I'm starting to get a patrol line of air up. A little bit of safety blanket in case they had air and also some uh, line of sight in the center some things going around so Twilight with a big army and lots of instigators AKs and storms just tearing through everything you can see everything just disappear in its wake struggling a little bit with the berserkers but once he catches up, they'll, they'll get overpowered pretty easy. But Magpie's bringing in, he's got some artillery backing some more Berserkers. Coming up on the K-Bot lab here. Luckily, there are some defenses up to pretty much help put a stop to this push. It's not the end-all, be-all, but with the defenses, I did get that Guardian up too. With the defenses and the units coming through... Uh, we were able to kind of put a stop to that. 
Gren's pulling back. Um, not the fight he wants to to fight here. He does have a nice mix of units. So he's got some berserkers, uh, a little bit of armor, some AA. And some artillery. So just kind of kiting them backwards. Uh, letting the artillery do the work, it looks like. Well, Twilight's moving forward. It's probably trying to get rid of this K-Bot lab. And then we have Drummer coming in with lots and lots of jet rows. Twilight did grab this metal here. Got some underwater metal as well. But they're really struggling to push through. Lethal setting up some pit bulls here. He's got his advanced four up. And, I mean, let's take a look real quick. Let's see how everyone's doing. <laughs> Something shot while it was paused. So I'm at 52 metal and 2300 energy. Twilight's at 57 metal with 2500 energy. And then we have Magpie coming in at 3413. Uh, finished off here with Drummer at 31, uh, pretty much 13. And then we have Gren coming in at 13,219, and Lethal coming in at 20,500, 1600, rounded up. Um, so metal-wise, we are doing better. We do have more of the map, though. Um, they could come up here and cap these metal spots. It'd help out help out a bit and then like, we do have geo spot a geo spot you could that's 500 energy even if you're okay on energy you could use that 500 to put up a few metal makers get some extra metal going um, these these are going to be hard to cap especially with the the boats now he could come up here since there's not much and try to get some HLTs up uh, depth charge launchers, a guardian kind of off the coast, out of range, would really help take that um, naval stuff out there. It's not going to be perfect, but it's really good option. Guardians are great coastal defense. And there's a lot of reclaimables here. Uh, getting something up there to reclaim all that would probably help out a bunch. Lethal, lethal is on it. He's got bees going <laughs> He's got bees sucking all that stuff up. Lethal is on it. But we are putting a lot of pressure on them. So capping these middle spots is going to be really rough. We've got Magpie just shooting at things. Trying to see if there's anything. He's coming back to this ground. Jethro's. They did manage to get a ship, but they're not going to do too much. Twilight making a big push in the center here. Um, this is pretty heavily defended with turrets and units, so it's going to be rough. Got that K-Bot lab down to half. Did manage to get one of the HLTs as well, but the units just keep coming up, so, so he's not going to be able to make it through. I know Magpie said he had advanced. Um, I've seen some advanced for myself too. So Magpie's got advanced, putting out pillagers. I'm getting an MRU out to try and help my energy. And I th did see some Panthers up here. Panthers are fairly cheap in terms of advance. They're only 220 metal, um, about 6200 energy. And they have a lightning weapon that does small AoE as well as an anti-air missile. They're really nice early um, units, or just really good if you're looking for a big group of things, especially against k -Bots. Cause you can get a lot of them out in 
a lot of them out easier than a lot of the other advanced units. They're not going to have as much armor, but you will get a decent amount of firepower. You can see they're just tearing through the uh, level 1 K box. When it comes to the pit bulls, they're, they're not doing much. <laughs> not doing much to pit bulls, but... Lethal and Gren here really trying to get rid of this naval. Um, they're doing some damage. The Jethro's, I'm pretty sure he's just sending the Jethro's because that's what he had. Um, he really needs to make something else though. He is getting his advanced up. Um, Twilight has some advance going. And Gren's getting bullied by this naval, so he's struggling a bit. He really should come up here and grab these, cap these, uh, whoops, cap these mexes. That'd give him a little bit of a boost there. But the naval's kind of, it's not killing him, but it's not letting him do much. So Magpie coming in with some pillagers to see if he can't uproot this defensive line here. And it looks like he is pretty successful. Um, maybe not. <laughs> he did get a few things. He did some good damage, but he got chased away by Lethal's Banshees. And it looks like we're making, we're slowly making more progress here on the center. Uh, the pillagers coming in to uproot Twilight's line, maybe. Looks like Gren is pushing back against the navel. He got a lot of Wolverines, which is really good. He pretty much wants something that can shoot them and not get shot. So the artillery is a really good idea. We do have the pillager coming up on Gren here, though. Magpie is asking for some forward line of sight. So at this point, we pretty much have everything from, I mean, got pretty good map control. Everything from here back, black is such a bad color, everything from here back is um, pretty much under our control. Drummers actually started to cap their island here, which is really good. Lethal, seeing if he can't get some bombers, but he's about to meet all that. Heavy artillery push coming in the center. Twilight's asking for some support. And we are actually making it to the front of their base now. Lethal coming in with bombers. See if he can't get rid of some of this stuff. And Jethro's just sitting here picking AKs off one by one. They do have good uses. There are a couple Fidos there as well. If K-Bots are going to come single file though, something like Jethro's are, are great. Magpie moving in with some Berserkers and some Radar Bots here. Probably some Pillagers in back. Yep. Gren pushing back with some AKs up here. Magpie's really keeping them held on here. Uh, he's, he's got those pillagers just raining, raining hell loose. But now pillagers, uh, they do outrange most T1 defenses. So you really need some quick mobile things to get up on them. Um, Magpie is protecting them with some, some berserkers here. But a lot of level one tanks could really get up close and get rid of this stuff. Now, I mean, it's easier said than done when there's all this stuff. They're, at this point, they're just being out-resourced, so it's it's pretty rough. Twilight's making 82. 
Gren's making 23, Lethal's making 17, so they have combined metal of 105, 110, 100, 122. They've got a combined of about 122 there, and then we're at 104, 41, 145, 100, 213. So, as a collective, they are being out resourced by two to one. But we have most of the map control. I'm getting deep cores up. Some MRUs up. They pretty much have here and back resource wise. They do have a few metal spots. Probably getting a lot of metal from that. Probably really trying to push in and get these villagers out. Uh, but Magpie's got too much, too much with them. See if you can't get a Punisher up to help out with that. But we're flooding in. Got Gren up here moving out with some some units. Uh, Penetrators now rolling in from myself here. Penetrators have pretty good range, pretty good attack power. Um, they do cost close to a thousand metal. We also have Tremors moving in from Magpie. Great range, great firepower. Um, pretty armored as well. If you're not really pumping out T2 stuff, a, a Tremor or a Penetrator is not what you want to see. The Tremor is just raining in on everything. Ren trying to pump things out here. Lethal getting some thuds out. Um, Unfortunately, this is bombing my penetrators, but penetrators are going to be pretty hard to stop. And same with the uh, the tremors here. Tremors can ruin your thing. Quick. Tremors got a nice mass of uh, Jethro's here. A huge mass of vitals back here. Wow. Twilight coming in with gunships. I don't know if there's anything in the way of anti air. Berserkers work well enough, I suppose. And he's got some Reapers coming in to melt everything pretty much. I think I did. Yeah, I pulled my penetrators up. Made short work of those, but the uh, behemoth is just laying fire. Doomsday came up just a little too late. We're pretty much breaking through here. We've got hovers from Drummer just coming in and. Havoc. We're coming with all these advanced solos here. Crows, uh, I forgot about the crows. Crows coming in, which are like hugely, huge gunships. They cost almost 2,000 metal and 16,000 energy. The weapon's not, not weak, but not the strongest, so. Just coming in, wrecking havoc. And then we've got the Fidos coming in from Drummer here. The Doomsday doesn't have enough energy to shoot anymore. Oops. Got a few weapons here and there. He's he's putting it away to try and save save it, maybe? No. Alright, looks like he, he got a little bit of energy. We've got got some AKs coming in from Gren here. And that 
big mass of Fido's just pushing up. I mean, pretty much just everything. Everything's been sent in to finish the job here. Bren fighting Valiant, Valiant here with his AK. that uh pretty pretty intense game there let's pause that before it um before it ends real quick so that was a pretty intense game um we ended up controlling most of the center here which gave us a big advantage on metal they they could have capped these uh, the water, had they gone naval, the, the water metal's pretty darn good. It would have given them a big edge. Twilight did grab some of it. Uh, I'm not sure what he had stopped him, though, but he could have. He might have, since there's something in water there. But it just come up all the way. If he had gone naval, he may have been able to do some damage here. But there wasn't much... Um, I feel like there wasn't much time. He didn't have the resources, kind of. Uh, we were pushing them pretty hard. But that was pretty much, they just got out-resourced. Um, the, the naval stuff, like I said, you could have could have put a, a guardian up. Or a um, guardian or a punisher up and... You know, they have enough range. You could even put it, he could have put it like back here, probably. But that would have been able to shell out the Crusaders, the uh, destroyers there safely. That might be in range of the Crusaders. I forgot it doesn't work because it's not static. But like I said, I mean, you have pretty healthy amount of range here. So you've got like that much. He could have put it. Yeah, he could have put it right around where he had one, actually. And that would have helped out. So, I mean, yeah, he did get a guardian up. Um, but at that by that point, it probably was too late. He had lost all this. You even have a guardian up here. Um, they They were pushing pretty hard. But we did have some defenses up. Uh, lots of HLTs is trying to. I wasn't doing too much production wise in the beginning. I was just trying to resource up and pretty much help protect the center, um, support it. So I was focusing more on defenses while they pushed. But, I mean, Drummer capped both of these islands here. Which hurt them a lot, uh, because Twilight did have that. In terms of what they could have done a little bit better, um, really they just needed to control the center a bit more. Uh, Lethal could have diversified his units a little bit. The He was facing a lot of Jethro's. So, I mean, Jethro versus Jethro, it's pretty much whoever spends the most metal. Um, AKs or Peewees do a great job against Jethro's because they have more firepower and they can close the distance pretty quick. Obviously, you're going to lose some because they start shooting first. But ultimately, you will close that distance and destroy them. Uh, if you mix Jethro, something I'll do a lot is... I'll make like five Jethro's, five Rocco's, and just alternate. So I have a nice mixed army of Jethro's and Rocco's. You get great firepower and great range with that combination. The Jethro's have tracking, so they're always hitting. Um, they kind of make up for the Rocco's shortcomings, or Rocco's or storms. Um, so that's that's great if you start doing like a mixed army of. Jethro's, Rocco's, or Crashers and Storms. Um, 
Grand, I thought, you know, he's making some mixed armies. That was really nice. There was just pretty much being out resourced. That's what this game came down to is we took control of more metal more um, quicker. And I mean, they pretty much just failed to get a hold on these metal patches. So they were being out resourced because we had all the way up to here to this KBOT lab. So all the way up to here pretty well. And this was where we were pushing from essentially. So it was really hard for them to keep any of these metal spots. I'm pretty sure they had these. Uh, he had his base there, so yeah. But yeah, uh, all in all, it was a pretty good game. It did start out as a a 4 versus 3, so it was a little imbalanced. Uh, he did leave pretty early, but regardless, he got all this stuff up. I mean, not all of this stuff, but he had... Uh, he had the winds and the advanced solars and the metal capped out with a K-Bot lab, as well as an advanced fort turret, which is like 1,500 metal almost. He did get that up pretty early because um, it was definitely up before he left. That was probably not the best idea. If you're going to make a fort turret early on, I would not go for the advanced fort turret because, I mean, after... After the lab, like you only start with a thousand metal, right? The lab is going to cost you six hundred, and I mean you're making metal constantly, but like he spent over two thousand metal in the first. He left about five minutes in. In the first five minutes, he spent over two thousand metal. Probably not the best idea. I I imagine he was struggling greatly um, on his metal, but. He did leave me the advanced fort turret, which was nice. <laughs> I was able to get up some defenses. It never ended up needing, but it also helps production. You know, it helped me build a lot of the stuff over here. They're nice to use, but, you know, not so early. Not so early. It's rough. Magpie's got a nice little compact base. Um, he had the shipyard too, which helped a bunch. Apparently, I made a hovercraft platform that I never used. <laughs> the The mohos were great. They were giving me about forty metal. The prude, the prude's always nice. If you're armed, make sure you make prudes. They do. I don't remember the command. They they do twenty four metal or a thousand energy. I think it might be 2,000 energy, actually. No, it's 1,000, because they'll, they'll use 1,000 energy to make 24 metal, and, but they can be turned on and off. So they make 1,000 energy and 24 metal, but they also use that 1,000 ener they, they energy while they're on. So, yeah. You get either the thousand energy. It's pretty much a fusion or, or or a deep core essentially. I think it's a little better than a deep core metal wise. Um, depending, these ones are on like big patches. So, but yeah. Anyway, good game. It was pretty well played. I thought. Uh, did start off as a four versus three, which kind of imbalanced it. But I thought it was pretty good. A couple new people. They did. They both played really well, I thought. So, break down here. We've got... We've got lethal. So, we've got lethal coming in at about 400,000 energy, 74,000 metal produced. Um, did a great job at using it, honestly. Excess energy is usually going to be there unless you're struggling. So that's a little more lenient, but only 1,600 excess metal. That's that's not bad, especially for like a big game. Uh, looks like I'm <laughs> I'm all I'm always bad at spending my metal, and my resources in general. In larger games, I waste them. Um, Lethal did a pretty good job there. Uh, Thaldrin quit like five minutes in. We had Drummer coming in at about 900,000 energy. 
and almost 200,000 metal, which is really nice. Lots of excess. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. About, is that 1.8 1. 1. million excess and like 100,000, no, 10,000 excess metal. I'm dyslexic sometimes. I came in like do, 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 12 million energy and 245,000 metal uh, wasted like 2 million almost 3 million energy and about 6,500 metal which is not that great <laughs> I mean 6,500 6, metal for me out of a uh, couple hundred thousand I'll take it honestly I will take those numbers <laughs> Twilight came in he produced about, what's that, 6 million energy and about 125,000 metal. It's pretty good. Um, I think he was pretty pretty much powering a lot there. He did grab all those geos, so he was probably sharing quite a bit of resources with his allies there. Um, Excess-wise, we're looking at, is that 11 million energy and 5,000 metal? Then we have Magpie coming in at 4 million energy produced and 139,000 metal produced. Um, didn't waste much, honestly. He only wastes about 174,000 energy, which is pretty nice when you've produced 4 million of it and only 2,000 metal, which is which is pretty nice as well it's i'm usually in the the five digits of metal way <laughs> metal wasted and then grenwalk coming in he produced two, 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 two million energy and about fifty one thousand metal not bad um especially because he had that navel up there giving him grief i uh, Barely wasted anything. 78,000 energy and 1,400 metal. Overall, everyone did pretty darn good. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any feedback, let me know. And we'll see you next time.